greatest phases. Heaven only knows I'm a witness. And the private gon' come to me. I'm trying to own multiple bases. Driving the latest fences. Heaven only knows I'm a What's up? What's good? It's your favorite guy. You know, your favorite show, Zillionaire, was popping. Man, what's going on? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, man. Welcome to the show. All the new people, man. I holla at y'all. What's good? If you're new to the channel. Now, Azrael Clary, as you know, I talked about this for the longest. And, and then before I get started, let me say this, because some people, how can I put it? Some people have selective hearing. They don't listen. You know, they, they just take bits and pieces of what you say, and they formulate their own opinion. This video is not me defending R. Kelly. Let's get that straight. Okay, I know the man has a problem. I believe the man has a problem. Do I believe everything they're saying about him? No. A lot of these chicks were there for his money and fame. Okay, all these chicks are not victims. I do not believe that. Does he have some victims? Yes, I believe that. But all these chicks are not victims. That's bull crap. All right. This chick, Azrael, is a straight gold digger. When she was with R. Kelly, she told everybody to leave her alone. Leave R. Kelly alone. She's happy. She ain't going nowhere. By her own free will, she chose to stay there with R. Kelly because he provided a lavish lifestyle for her. She lived a red carpet events, limousines, mansions, money, clothes. She didn't have to do nothing but just live off this man's money. That's all she did. Have sex, suck his cock, live off this man's money. Have threesomes with him and, uh, what's the name, Jocelyn. Get, please him sexually and... and, and she lived the lifestyle she lived. That's why she stuck around. That's why she was good. She was happy. I don't have to do nothing but suck his wood. That's all I got to do. Suck his dingling and have threesomes with him and, 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 you know, and give in to his deviant behavior. I'm good. Now, nobody gave a crap about R. Kelly. Everybody saw this man had a problem. Nobody tried to help this man. Okay, that's number one. I have a problem with that. Everybody saw what was going on with this man. Nobody tried to help him. You know why? Because everybody was getting money. Everybody was getting paid. Nobody wanted to tell on this man because if they did tell on this man, nobody was going to get a check anymore. OK, so they watched this man destroy himself. All right. Nobody gave a crap about R. Kelly. And R. Kelly still has unresolved issues from being molested by his sister when he was a child. Now, when you don't deal with those childhood demons, you bring those demons into your manhood. And these generational curses are passed down, okay? Now, he didn't deal with all those repressed sexual feelings he had about being molested by his sister. And that's why all his music is over-sexualized, all right? Over-sexualized. Nobody wants to talk about that, okay? Now, he grows up. He don't deal with his demons. Now, he repeats the same cycle, the same stuff that happens to him. Now, he's repeating it. All right, but they don't want to talk about that part. But if this was a white boy, everybody would have said, oh, well, something happened to him when he was little. Something happened to him. He got psychological and emotional problems. He he was sexually abused when he was little. They would have gave him a smack on the wrist if it was a white boy. Y'all know that's the truth. Now, Azrael's trying to capitalize on the situation. Now, all of a sudden, she's a victim. <laughs> now that R. Kelly is broke, R. Kelly don't have any money. She had to move out of the Trump Towers. She had to move back home with mommy and daddy. She doesn't have a dime to scratch her stinking behind with. R. Kelly don't have any money. He's facing a ton of charges. He ain't getting out no time soon. He's broke. Now she has to figure out a, another way to capitalize. Now she has to play the victim. Now she's trying to launch a music career. Ha! <laughs> That's hilarious. A music career. She's posting videos of her in the studio and everything else. She's smiling. She's laughing. Um, she's getting interviews. She's going to probably get a lifetime deal and a book deal. She's going to get all that. She's going to capitalize on all that. So I don't feel, no, I don't feel sorry for this chick at all. And I don't believe she's, she's a, a victim. She's not a victim. She stayed there when all, when the money was there, she stayed there. Now the money's gone. She's gone. <laughs> Ain't that how it goes with these gold diggers? When he's on top, they right there up under you. But when the man is down, now she's down. Now she got to put him down to lift herself up. You heard me. That's why R. Kelly treated a lot of these women like that. He knew these people didn't care nothing about him. So he treated these women like garbage, like trash, because they allowed him to treat them like trash because he knew they were there for the money. So he can treat them like sex slaves all he wanted to because they were going to stay for the money. <laughs> Simple. Everyone stayed for the money. Azrael stayed for the money. 
Treat me any old kind of way. I don't care. I like this lifestyle I'm living. I ain't giving up this lifestyle for nothing. <laughs> he got money. Leave me alone. Leave R. Kelly alone. Do you see these mansions I'm living in? Do you see these, these, these limousines I'm in? <laughs> all I got to do is suck, suck his wood and I'm straight. That's all I got to do. <laughs> Have threesomes with him. Huh? That's all I got to do. Huh? Suck on this Peter. That's it. And I can live this kind of life. I tell you, boy, man. So I guess, you know, chicks will suck a million dollar penis if it's worth it. They will suck on it. They don't care. I'll do whatever you want me to do because you're you're providing my lavish life. Now the money's gone. Now look at her. Now she's working with the feds against them. <laughs> and that what gold diggers do. Now they're against you. When you when you up, they up there with you. They're protecting you. They ride with you when the money good. Now the money's gone. She's going to work with the feds and she's going to play victim. Get out of my face with that bull crap. I'm your boy Zillionaire. The truth speaker. The guy that pisses everybody off. You know how it goes. Azrael's full of crap. If the money was there, she'd still be right there with R. Kelly. This music career is not going to go anyway, anywhere. And when she does a Lifetime show, that that that, that show is going to be trash. <laughs> Her music career is going to be trash. Watch what I tell you. Her lifetime show is going to be garbage because her motives were not right from the beginning. OK, and she's trying to work with her father and, and do certain stuff. Of course, he's trying to cash in, too. He's been trying to cash in from the beginning. That's why he he allowed his daughter to go with R. Kelly because he claimed my daughter's going to get a music career going with R. Kelly. This is what her parents did. But they all knew in the end they were going to try to cash in. That was their motive. I'm your boy Zillionaire. This girl is full of bull crap. And I don't want to hear nothing she got to say. <laughs> really, I don't. She's, um, how can I put it? She's, she, she's just a liar. Um, now she's trying to say Joycelyn Savage uh, 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 violated her and raped her and all kind of stuff. She's trying to say about Joycelyn Savage now. <laughs> She even trying to say Joycelyn slaps. She even trying to say Joycelyn Savage slept with her when she was underage. Lord have mercy. And you saw the big fight she got in with her. So she's she's looking out for herself. She's protecting herself. She's trying to make money for herself. Azrael's all out for self. So any way she can bash or diminish Joycelyn or any other of the women that were there or anybody else in the situation to make herself look good. She's going to do it to get that check. I'm your boy Zillionaire. This is Gold Digging Rules 101. <laughs> gold Diggingology. I'll tell you, this is how they do it. I'm out of here. I'm trying to own multiple businesses. Driving the latest business Heaven only knows I'm a witness And the profit gon' come tremendous I'm tryna own multiple businesses Driving the latest business Heaven only knows I'm a